Welcome back to the Outer Kings. Uh, this is a new session for me. So I think I need to re-familiarize myself with what the hell was happening and what was going on. It's been a couple of days since I played this. Oh yeah, of course we were. Uh, High King, Elrang the Cautious of the Valentar of Valenwood. Um, our vessels have started extending up into the remains of Kavach, the sort of splintered area over here in Anvil. Uh, the army of the Wretched is currently swooping through elsewhere and pretty much decimating it on all fronts. So uh, that's pretty great. We are... Obviously, Aeliad, um, trying to take back Cyrodiil, which was obviously uh, Aeliad at one point, but then they lost it to the Imperials. However, we are also worshipping the Ideal Masters and secretly a bit of uh, Hermes Mora on the side, so we can make some backdoor deals with our our uh, Diedrich Prince here. Uh, one of the other things we've done is, is obviously, we're a Master Age of the Master Sorcerer, so we've, we're able to take on Necromancy through a random event, which very fortunately meant we could turn ourselves into an Immortal Lich. Uh, which is quite handy for for this type of thing. If someone's messaging me on uh, WhatsApp. Let me just close that off before it makes too much noise. All right, so we don't have an ambition right now. Let's just see the round prosper. What were we doing? I think we just finished uh, tidying up the borders. And I think, yeah, we were in the middle of, obviously, cultural conversion. It's going to take a while because we're going Bosma to Aeliad. It won't take too long, hopefully. Religious map, however, as you can see, is a massive mess. We're actually trying to... Uh, convert everything to ideal masters because we are a lich it means everybody hates us because eventually we're just going to turn into an undead uh, dragger essentially however uh, let's have a look there if you look at uh, ideal masters opinion roughly roughly halfway down the list uh, we get plus 25 so if we can convert everyone to our religion the same religion as us uh, it'll cancel out the malice for being a, a lich which is minus 25 normally uh, oh, was that Necromancer I was looking at? No, 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 it, it's fine. They stack. I think it's plus 10 for Necromancer. It is. So if we can convert everyone to the same province, uh, oh, sorry, to our in our province to the same religion, then we're going to get a lot of positive opinion with them. Um, what have we got here? So we've, I think these are just 6,000 skeletons, aren't they? Yeah, they're special event troops. We're not paying any upkeep on those. We have 2,000 gold. All right. Well, I think the first thing's first. Let's go ahead and start building some soul harvesting. Um... We also want to upgrade this tribe to a castle or maybe a city as soon as we can. Um, we're quite close to being able to turn into a village, so I'm going to do that. I assume it's the last level. And I'm hoping this is the upgrade we need to actually turn it into a city. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to build the soul harvesting on every province. And what that's going to do is going to have plus one souls a month. Souls are what we need to cast magic. They're sort of the equivalent of piety or favor in the base uh, Elder King's religions. It's called favor. Uh, obviously, piety in the base game. So let's go ahead and build those. And on the next level, they actually get plus six. And that's a huge amount. That's crazy. Bear in mind that the um, the temple upgrades, take for example, this one gives 0 0.1. Um, and I'm assuming we can also build it in our vassals. Or like our temple vassals. Because if we look here um, on our vassal priests. I assume these are all ours, aren't they? It says here that we, we would eventually be paying, obviously... You, you either pay it to the religion head or your liege, uh, depending on which has a higher opinion. So on these guys, we can actually eventually start getting their their souls, if you want to call it that. But it, it's it's the equivalent of piety in the base game. Uh, that's a good name to do. She's got a copper ring. We're going to keep an eye out for rare artifacts as well, because there are Elder Scrolls-esque rare artifacts spawning into the game. For example, we have uh, the Ring of Necromancy, the Circlet of Omnipotence. We did have a cool amulet, but someone stole it, as I recall. All right. I think we're just going to let time tick and see what happens. Obviously, we need to go through all of our provinces. Should have started this actually already. Just making sure we've got soul harvesting. We do have in a lot of them. I believe it's just the next level of the equivalent infrastructure. So, for example, in temples, it will be uh, temple infrastructure and castles, castle infrastructure, etc. Just to get the next level of soul harvesting. So, we're going to try and get the spread rate. So, this one's already got two. So, this is going to be plus seven on this province, which was obviously huge. We're going to go for tech spread rate just to increase the speed at which we're going to get that. We've got more than enough cash to be able to afford to do this. Just check our technology here. And oh, we keep going for prosperity events as well just to try and get some of those province buffs. Our old province still has a lot of the buffs. It was this one, wasn't it? Oh, maybe when you move it, you lose it. That, that would probably make sense. Um, we've got Peasant Revolt there. Where? Oh, was it? An, oh, sorry, no. It was an adventurer. Yeah, I remember. Um, you've got 4.5 thousand men, and they're probably going to be landing from, um, we'll keep the information to ourselves. They're going to be probably landing from the coast of Dis. 
So I'm going to keep our troops generally around the ports there. Sure, we go for that. Okay, 30 souls. Why not? Uh, obviously, we lost B at peace for five years because we are oh, we had war forced on us, which isn't exactly fair, but, you know, I won't complain. Let's go ahead and summon some Dramora. I imagine we've got plenty of Magicka to do so. Uh, let's just double-check our Magicka quickly. We've got nine left, so... I'd be interested in knowing the rate which you get per year, because that information isn't really well uh, telegraphed, but... It's also dependent on the souls as well. You sort of use both. Oh, sweet. Day after day spent training and night after night pouring over treatises, tomes, and manuals. I, I said treatises again. <laughs> treatises, tomes, and manuals is finally paying off. I'm ready to take the next step in my studies to receive recognition. My ability is one of the dedicated specializations. We've become the next level of battle mage. It's going to give us more martial, more learning, more personal combat. Uh, oh, actually, it just upgrades it to give us uh, essentially just slightly better stats than we've already got. It takes away the intrigue malice as well. Sweet. And, and, and if you haven't seen any of the past ones, what you get for being part of guilds. Uh, guilds allow you to study a specialization. I'm part of the Thieves Guild, but I'd already started studying to be a Battle Mage as part of the Majors Guild. Uh, the reason I'm still in Thieves Guild is because I get plus 15% to your tax modifier once you're the uh, highest level. So there's some more Dramora quickly while we've got the Magicka again. And we can compose a new book. So let me see your intrigue. Ideally, we would want diplomacy in this scenario because... Um, We've got the Circular of Omnipotence, which protects us against all plots. We develop ruins here. We're going to do that because they can proc and give you treasures, essentially, once they've been developed enough. I've got a GIF open on my other monitor. I'm just going to briefly close. All right, someone wants to invite us to a plot. Kidnap Darav in the Coral. Isn't it always the same dude? Just since the start of the game, there have been two books like Farragon and Daravin have always been targeted for these for these kidnappings. Uh, let's just check how the soul harvesting is going. I think we're pretty good, actually. Uh, pretty sure we're all up to date. We should probably start developing our capital a bit more. Eventually, I'm going to try and take all of these provinces so they're mine and just focus on one province and get in the prosperity for that one province of ours up. Hold quite a small domain, but build tall. Um, that means we can also give all of these old lands away to... Um, Dukes and keep them happy, essentially. So let's go ahead and just build anything we need right now. Um, small hall, I think, would be pretty good. So th what do these upgrade to when we... If they even do upgrade? Because there's no point... There we are. So we want we want buildings like this. Barracks, militia quarters, one upgrade to a city. Let's do that. That's much more useful than building something that's going to be lost when we convert it. Uh, we're going to have a tax income. Not that we necessarily need the tax... Of Meridia considers that a holy site. We might also want to convert the Diedrich Prince that we're worshipping in secret right now. Hermes Mora is good for learning, which is going to buff our magic. But if we look at our Lich trait or Necromancer trait, either one, you see that Molag Bella and Meridia, sorry, Namira, have a positive opinion of uh, Liches. So does Hermes Mora, but um, I think Meridia has more bonuses towards specifically the undead. And with the higher levels of Lich done, you will eventually turn into an undead. That's sort of the point of it. Your, your body sort of rots away while you stay alive as a, a, a ghost, essentially. Holy man came to the court and we apparently imprisoned him. Here are ruins paying out with something. Just gold in that scenario. They can give artifacts. I've probably mentioned all this before. I apologize if you've watched the whole series up to this point and I'm just reiterating things I haven't said. But this is sort of me re-familiarizing myself with certain aspects as well. Where is this... This adventurer. Do they not have any boats or something? Let's just go to their current location. I think they are walking over. They're losing troops. They do have 200 boats. Look, their troops are dying to attrition there. We can actually see them disappearing. Very strange. I don't know why they're not moving down to help us. but Or, or moving down to attack us, I should say. But we're going to win the war either way. Um, we could speed up by marching our troops up there, but if there's another religious rebellion or something like that, I don't necessarily want to, uh, not have anything to defend ourselves. Um, I'm not going to blackmail any of my vassals. I've got my vassals in a nice place. We spent a lot of last episode sorting out borders, digital your dirt trees, making sure they're all the same religion as us. We're just solely hoping they'll convert now. We've got a magister with 22 learning, but he's taken his time to proselytize anything, to be honest. Apparently we count as a mastermind theologian, even though we're a 
It is the learning based focus in this game, so it does sort of make sense, I suppose. Oh, look, the Army of the Wretch is actually converting provinces here. Outsiders, ideal masters worship. You see, they've got like these spooky forests now rather than deserts. Wow, they're converting incredibly fast. Why is that? T to convert culture and religion that quickly is pretty incredible. Wow, look at that. To be honest, I wish we could convert that fast. Oh, those guys were ideal masters and alien. That's, that's the ideal province right there. That's what we're aiming for. Um, I will pay. So if you do, if you take events in stewardship that sort of, um, have a negative impact on you, you've got a higher chance of getting things like just, patient, diligent, because you're willing to act on behalf of your vassals. We lost the trade just, but we did get two ruins, actually. The Amulet of Domination and some gold. Let's see what the Amulet of Domination does. Uh, where is that exactly? More damage, not much. Revolt risk lower is actually pretty significant. Minus 1%. It might not seem like much, but it's going to add up, especially when we convert all these provinces. Marshal plus 1, sex appeal plus 10. Not necessary considering we're literally going to turn into a zombie soon, but that's fine. A rather risky amulet. Amulets of domination have been worn by warlords, tyrants, and a fair few dominatrices and dominance in its lurid and storied history. Okay, sure. Fair enough. Um, a wife. Someone's after... Uh, who's trying to kill my wife? Let's see if we can find her. Now, we, actually, what we could do here is we can imprison if any are in our court. I'm going to turn off auto-stop plots as well. Um, I had it on temporarily just while we were sorting things out. But if any of these guys are in our court and they're, like, sort of people we don't really care about, we can uh, sacrifice them to Molag Bell. Because I don't think we actually claimed his sort of legendary artifact. So each Deidre Prince has a legendary artifact. His just happens to be the Ogma Infinium. Uh, once we have 8,000 favor with them, we can claim that. We're at 5,000 now, so it's it's pretty good. We can offer peace here. So she did nothing at all, and she's just going to give us 200 prestige. She loses the goblet. I don't think we gain it. No, we don't. Um, I assume that's just to stop you immediately banishing her and gaining the gold anyway. But we can now, speaking of which, sacrifice her. You're welcome. All right, let's just go through those plots again, see so if there's anything we could uh, we can take. So what are you? You're a, you're a vassal's vassal, so I don't really care about sacrificing you so much. Counts in particular are going to be pretty worthwhile. Um, can we not imprison? Here we are in prison. Vassals of vassals means I'm not going to spend ages setting up vassals, dishing out land that I just happen to lose when I execute these people. So uh, she is, again, a vassal's vassal. She's also Bosma. So this works out pretty well that we're taking her land. Uh... But well, if we can't revoke the title and grant it to the guy below us. No, there's no revoke title there. We'll just sacrifice her and assume it, I'm assuming it will go back to the uh, the lead tree. We can start that plot now, seeing as uh, we've already sacrificed her. Who else have we got? Um, in prison. She's fled. That's fine. And you can be imprisoned. Council will not agree. Why not? So in favor to... Prince Magical Keith. Magical Keith is discontent. Very annoying. Uh, do I need to weaken your dynasty? Will this weaken my dynasty? I don't, I'm pretty sure this guy is not of my dynasty, I'll be honest with you. Um, very weird. Okay, well, we won't, we won't take that guy. Uh, what about you? Alright, this guy can go to prison. So we've got a decent amount of people here we can sacrifice. Let's go ahead and uh, throw them up. Hermes Mora. We're getting quite close to being able to get that legendary artifact. And we can pretty much stop doing this when we've got the Ogre Infinium, and that's when I'll think about switching to a different Diedrich Prince to try and get their artifact. Um, right, what do we want to invest in here? I'm going to assume Town Academy and Magical Infrastructure. Alright, let's go ahead and have a look at... Obviously, build a shrine in our capital. If we build... High levels of soul harvesting we can in our academies. Oops. Did we get town infrastructure or were we... No, we didn't quite have enough tech for that, as I recall. Uh, let's go for military organization again. We have decisions available? Oh, just holding a tournament. Oh, we might as well, considering how much uh, cash we've got lying around. All right. Who else are we looking for? Do we know who's trying to kill my wife? Uh... Let's have a look. High Queen. High Queen. No, we can't see any. He's trying to 
Let's get an artifact. We'll, we'll just put some of these randomers in prison as well, I assume. So anyone else? You can go to prison. Uh, you can go to prison. It's fled, so it doesn't matter. Uh, you were the guy that fled, so that's fine. Now, let's go. We actually can't in prison. Am I missing the imprison button? No, we can't. Okay. They just really want this artifact right now. You can go to prison. I think that was the guy before. They were saying they didn't want me to. Uh... That's that's me. I can only assume that's a glitch from when we just imprisoned that dude. And I think that's it. We could imprison Magical Keith, our son. We are an immortal lich. Why do we need a son? Ah, clever. He is also a massive troublemaker, and he has claims on all my titles. So, getting rid of him, and I imagine also sacrificing my son would get us a lot of favor with um, Hermaeus Mora. So I'm actually going to try and uh, sacrifice my son here. I hope that doesn't make us a Kinslayer. I don't think anybody knows because it's sort of like a a secret sacrifice. We will get this dungeon back, but we'll just give it back to someone else. Um, Alright, so that's Magical Keith in prison. And who are you? You are... Who knows? Alright. Let's go ahead and get rid of these. We might be able to claim the Ogma Infinium after this, depending on how much Keith gives us. No, nowhere near. It's only 1,500. Wow. I thought we had more than that. Alright, let's let time tick. And we got the Speculum Regale. What does that do? Uh, diplomacy, vast opinion, own children opinion. Not phenomenal. Uh, an education work cleverly describes his father's conversation with his son. Very good. Uh, we could get rid of this. And replace it. And I feel like that's a good idea. So we'll go ahead and swap those out. I think we're going to give modest measures in the plus two acts to Hermaeus Mora. Just because we don't necessarily need it. We can get another plus two acts just from raiding. Actually, that's put us really, really close to getting that book. We are overrunning on time slightly for this episode, but I am going to just go ahead and... You've got a different air elsewhere. Chief Chipmunk has gone into rebellion. I might revoke his titles just so the other person doesn't get them. Because that person already has a duchy, and I don't necessarily want such a powerful duke under me. Let's go ahead and enforce demands, and... Oh, Magical Keith is his heir? Oh, this is my other son. I mean, sorry. This is what I get for landing my sons. Okay, so we can't revoke his last title, but that's fine. We'll just put him underneath a different... Wow. I don't need to weaken powerful vassals. Um, so obviously we can't do anything with Magical Keith, unfortunately. We'll sacrifice my, my other son, though, because that's not a big deal. Alright, let's go ahead and give away... What do we take? Green Shade? Is that the entire duchy? Okay, there's... Oh, Avamath. Oh, Magical Keith took Avamath off of the other guy. Is there anything we can do here to... Uh, we, we could try and get council support. Is Magic, Magical Keith isn't on the council, is he? No. Why does he get a say in the vote, then? Alright, let's, um, let's go ahead and buy favours from the council so we can actually execute our own son. Or at least revoke his titles and then offer him up in sacrifice. Um, let's buy favours. Luckily, they're all accepting uh, favour requests from me. He says, as the rest of them refuse. We only need a couple anyway, so it's not a big deal. There we are, right. Let's go ahead and call in council support. We can also push through a vote while we're doing this, maybe to actually weaken the council. Because they are a bit of a pain. So we've got uh, four out of the six council members. So we do have a majority now. So we can just basically do anything we want for a little bit. Um, I would like to make it so I am the only one in charge of rule of our, uh, title revocation. Sorry. And let's go ahead and see if we can vote on any laws. Unfortunately we can't because we just changed the council one. Certain laws fall in a different condition that allow you to change them after you change council law, but not right now. Let's go ahead and revoke Magical Keith's titles and vassals will not object. Our vassals will not object. Since you have a claim on it, our vassals will not object. Very fortunate that we happen to get all of those. Magical Keith the Pure. 
unfortunately, is gone. We have no air for our dynasty. Wow. Wait, what does that say? Air religion change? Your air magical key currently follows a religion you are not allowed to put. I assume that's because he's uh, it hasn't quite registered that he's dead yet. And we do have another sun, but we aren't going to land our sun now because it's uh. They're a little too ambitious, especially as Magical Keith, I use the event to make him into my uh, rival. Let's go ahead and give out some titles here, because we've got loads. So we've got the whole of Pelder, is that? Yeah. Let's go ahead and search all. I see my religion, my culture, and search my stewardship. You get the Duchy of Pelder. Again, we're going for high stewardship people, because they're more likely to convert the province to what we want them to be. So then it closes the map. And you can have the other one. What was it? Uh, green shade? Yes. There we go. Um, oh, my, my son died, of course. So uh, let's drink in his honor. Please don't be drunkard. Become a new close friend. That's better. Why do we have an extra province? What, what, have, we, what have we picked up? Well, we picked up this one, Thormar. Um, have we not given out the Duchy of Thormar? Okay, let's, let's give that away then. Um... You can have that. Duchy of Thormar. Let's keep our vassals happy because we, we've only got uh, two duchies of our own now. Let's just have a look. What duchies do we own? Uh, so, these two more or less. I mean, these are all part of the same duchy here. These few. And then these. this is all a separate duchy again. Alright. I think that's looking pretty good. Uh, okay, we sorted out some problems there. We're almost ready to claim the Ogma Infinium. I think we're going to do that next episode because we'd have to play this fucking nonsense game again when the map's closed. Um, we'll make a quick offering. Next episode, I think it's time. I think we're going to get it. It's going to be pretty great.